Watch this. Look at that. Up and down. 60 pounds like nothing. I'm literally using two fingers right now. DJJ Buck. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video where we talk about another product that I've been using that I want to share with you guys so that you guys have the same information that I have found and I hope you guys are ready for this because we have got a, an innovative product to show you guys today so without further ado we're going to jump right into it if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you do so because we've got stuff like this all the time on the channel and i want to make sure that i show you guys exactly the equipment i'm using so you can see if it may benefit you or it's just something cool to have man so let me get right into it now so today we're going to show you the wait let's try this again today just doesn't work one more time so today <laughs> there we go i'm going to show you guys the frankenstein f1 stands for your speakers and guys i hope you're ready to find out about an innovative way to get your speakers up in the air without breaking your back most djs know what i'm talking about when we try to get these speakers up high we always have a problem when it comes to that because of our speaker stands so let's get right into it and show you what we're working with the first thing you guys see on here is that the stand comes with this great case. It actually holds both speaker stands in here. So when we unzip them, you've already got the stands and everything in the bag, which is cool. So it's easy to tote into events. And I've got one on one side and one on the other side. So now let's show you how these bad boys work. All right, guys, so the first thing that you'll notice on these stands is that they've got two knobs on here to kind of loosen up uh, the stand in specific places. So you've got your one knob down here that actually loosens up the legs so they can spread farther. And then you've got your knob up here that actually allows for the hydraulic inside the stand to be able to loosen up so that you can get the speaker stand to stay in one place or allow it to go up and down. And then you've got this handy dandy pin here. Now this pin allows for the stand to be able to go up in what I think is probably the easiest motion I've ever put a stand on. And I wanna demonstrate that for you guys here. So let's get a speaker on this thing. All right, so we've got the speaker and everything in here. So let's start with the bottom release and stuff down here. So what we're gonna do is twist it. And we're gonna spread the legs out pretty good here. That's what she said. <laughs> and then we're gonna tighten it back. And then for the top, you want to make sure that you get the actual speaker on before you loosen the top knob on here. So we're going to take this, put the speaker on there. Now, I want you guys to understand that this speaker weighs about 55, 60 pounds on here, which is really close to the max that this particular F1 stand can hold. Now they make an F2 stand that holds larger speakers than that, so I don't want you to think that you can't have a larger speaker to be able to put up on, on one of these Frankenstands and not be able to do what I'm about to do. So, next thing you want to do, loosen the top knob. There you go. Now, here's that pin that I was talking about. We'll stay on this side so you can see it. Now, I'm using one hand. Again, the speaker is 60 pounds. So you pull the pin out, and guys, watch this. Look at that, up and down. 60 pounds like nothing. I'm literally using two fingers right now to raise a 60 pound speaker. Two fingers. This is the beauty of this stand. This stand really allows you to be able to get your speakers up high without breaking your back without hurting yourself, without pulling the muscle, because it makes it a lot easier. You can also skirt these stands. You can put your clamp right here on the pole, it will fit on there, as well as you got your three feet down here at the bottom that you can go ahead and wrap your skirt around, so it will be great. So let me give you an example of when I use this at a gig. Take it away. Appreciate that, future DJ J Book. I am here setting up for another event, and I just wanted to show you how the Frankenstein stands are so easy to go up with the speaker on it. Check this out, guys. Yeah. 
And guys, it's just that easy. And now back to that handsome fella. Oh, thank you, you handsome devil. So yeah, I've actually taken this thing out to a couple of gigs and it is really, really, really a great stand. I really enjoyed this stand so far since I've been using it. I haven't had any problems in anything out of it. This is one of the great stands that have been made here that I know that it is the easiest to get on. Now, I also have a crank stand that I use. I know you guys have seen me set that thing up a thousand times on my video. Crank stands, they're, they're great and everything on there, but there's nothing like the ease of this. So when you're ready to actually take the speaker off, you wanna make sure that you have first locked the, the top knob at the bottom so this thing does not shoot up in your face and you wanna make sure that you always lock it when you're putting it back in the bag so that it fits in the bag perfectly. I have made that mistake a couple of times not locking the top and it was a pain in the butt to get out of the bag. And so there you have it. So with ease, it is really easy to use this guy. I really appreciate the people at Frankenstein giving me an opportunity to showcase this product. This is a great, great stand. I do recommend it. I'll list this product in the description down below for you guys to check it out. And believe it or not, they're actually pretty affordable. They're not that bad on the pockets, which is really good because you know, as DJs, sometimes stuff can get really pricey for us. So there you have it. Another video for you guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Didn't want to take up too much of your time. So if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up as well as if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so as well. Don't forget that if you want to see the videos when they come out, you got to make sure you hit that notification bell. And also check me out on social media, man. I got a lot of good stuff going on there. I post a lot of stuff for you guys to be able to see, especially off the week that I just came off of. It has been insane. So Book Club, this was another product review for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I've got some great stuff coming your way, so make sure you stay tuned. And for now, if you don't know, now you know. Peace, guys.